What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna to be checking out this ASUS G752 gaming laptop. I've had people message me and comment some of the videos saying, hey, you build your own PCs, you show off PC related gear, how come nothing laptop related? And it's true, I really haven't showed off any gaming laptops before. So put some feelers out there. My guys over at iBuyPower who hooked me up with my Revolt 2 PC, sent this ASUS laptop out to me to check out for you guys. So it's a quick little, kind of like a first look and unboxing, like I said. It'll be just a nice short and sweet little video, but stay tuned for the next week or so. I'll be putting out my dedicated review on this. You guys can check it out. And good news, if actually since updated this laptop since I've received it to show off for you guys their uh, all their newer line has all the new Cabby Lake CPUs in it so you're getting a newer uh, laptop if you choose to buy it from them over at iBuyPower so let's check this out all right so definitely a big box here fold it out that way blocking you guys flip this around and yeah this is already whew, pretty big I think we have a 17 inch display in this I'll put it off to the side uh, for what else was inside the box looking like we have you know the power brick stuff like that and a pretty small power brick I've seen laptops that have massive massive actual bricks this one's pretty lightweight relatively compact but very simple embossing experience just the laptop and the power brick let's check it out all right, so real quick in terms of specs, um, as far as I know right now inside is an i7 6700HQ CPU. We got a one terabyte hard drive and 16 gigs of RAM. I'm not 100% sure of the graphics card, but we'll figure that out. All right, this thing looks very gamery and aggressive, you know? A uh, very nice like brushed aluminum top here. Uh, I'm digging like the silver and copper look to it. You don't really see this color tone really in a lot of you know, modern accessories, especially for gamers. Uh, you, you just don't see copper a lot, but it definitely looks nice here. I feel like this is something off of like some alien spaceship. But overall, it is a little bit on the heavier side. It's not very, um, you know, lightweight, but still portable. I'd say you can definitely fit this in a bigger um, backpack or something. All right. On the right side of the laptop here, you have like most of your inputs, like your DC in, your LAN, HDMI, display port, USBs, even a USB 3 port here. On the left side, we also have two more additional USBs plus a DVD drive. You haven't, I haven't seen one of these in years, but uh, definitely thick enough that they could include this. Not really sure it's even necessary though, but it is here in case you want to watch some movies. And you got an SD slot for some of your memory cards. All right, so real quick, we just booted up the ROG Gaming Center here so we can kind of go in, fine tune, and you know, overclock, turn up the frequencies on some things, kind of monitor everything as well. So different profiles. We have the specs here right up top, and I said it earlier, we have the i7 6700 HQ CPU, currently at 2.6 gigahertz. Definitely can overclock that or put it in there, a turbo gear. Got a terabyte of hard drive space, 16 gigs of RAM, and inside here is a GTX 1060 with six gigs of VRAM. All right, this is actually their uh, G752 VM model. I was taking a look around the iBuyPower selection here of their gaming laptops. This is one of the uh, more updated modern ones. But like I said, they have the newer Cabby Lake CPUs in their newest lineup on the website that you can buy. So I've never actually owned a 17 inch display for a laptop. All my previous laptops have been, I think 15 inches and under. And I did say before, this is a full HD display. So 920 by 1080p. Um, yes, some laptops out there now are 4K or a little bit higher res than this, but I mean, for the screen size, 17 inches, the pixel density looks fine to me. Wouldn't really worry about pixel peeping or anything like that. Definitely an okay resolution. Got some anti-glare here to help prevent any uh, reflections on your screen, so that's good to see. As far as the keyboard, you know, you get your traditional layout here. You do have five macros on top, plus like a, I think it's like a live streaming button. Probably can quick toggle that to, you know, bring up something like Twitch or whatever you would use, whatever kind of program. Probably can also tether this in that ROG um, kind of software there. Get some nice red backlighting going on. Trackpad feels nice. Can easily glide my finger on it. It isn't. Um, tactile so you can actually use this as a mouse click but below there you have your left and right clicks just very aggressive looking is what I could pretty much summarize this as you know brushed aluminum black and red silver and copper then on the back of the laptop here is where you're gonna have like your fan exhaust for I'd assume one side is gonna be for your CPU other side is gonna be for your GPU I think just so you can get some uh, some cooler temps here 
Now, speaking of which, let's take a look on the bottom here, see if we can kind of crack it open real quick. We're not crack it open, bad choice of words. Prop it open and see uh, what they got so we can take a look at it. Got my trusty iFixit kit here. Take off this little screw. And let's see, probably pull this just up. Okay, so not much to see going on, but here's where you're gonna have some room to upgrade if you choose. Got your hard drive down here. M.2 support, if you wanna throw some of those in there, make this thing even quicker. There's a spot on the bottom here, which is gonna be towards the front for a Sonic bass woofer. So I assume once you get this thing, you know, cranked up, listen to music or playing your games, get a little extra bass boost out of here. All right guys, so that'll wrap it up for my little unboxing and first look at the Asus G752 gaming laptop from iBuyPower. Definitely a beast of a machine, so stay tuned, probably like I said, within the next week or so, maybe two weeks at most. I'll have my dedicated review on this for you guys in case you're in the market for a beast of a gaming laptop. Hopefully my review coming up will help you out and give you just a better idea of you know what's going on with this thing. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.